yeah you don't need like hundreds of layers to make a painting why say a lot word when few word do trick Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be doing a painting, but the catch is I can only use one single layer. I'm pretty excited for this. I haven't really tried this in the past, but if you guys have watched my other videos, you're gonna know that I don't really use too many layers in my paintings. You're gonna probably see that at most, I would go up to like maybe a dozen and sometimes I would stay at like maybe even four or five. I do take advantage of layers, but I try not to overwhelm myself with a hundred different layers and it gets to a point where you can't really find what you're looking for. So that's why like I like to keep my layers really minimal, but I've never really tried doing everything on just one single layer so this should be fun uh, i'm excited i think for the challenge we're gonna try to paint an environment piece uh mainly because i haven't done one in a while so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna find a reference photo and i've got a couple here uh from pinterest um, and i'm gonna try to combine them and make a little scene out of this but everything's gonna be done on one single layer you can see in the photo there's actually a bit of a foreground a midground and a background so we're not gonna have the luxury of separating those elements on different layers and we're gonna have to put them all on one flat surface so we're gonna see how this goes <laughs> I'm gonna record this process for you guys so that you guys can see what I'm doing as I work my way through this painting it should be interesting so let's get started so I'm still following my usual workflow by laying down a sketch first but since we're working on only one single layer the sketch is probably not gonna be preserved but regardless of that, I still want to know where the colors are going to go and where all our subjects are going to be. So that's why we're doing a sketch. Okay, so now we have the sketch layer kind of done. And normally what I would do is I would create a second layer underneath so that I can block in the colors without destroying the sketch. But right now we're working on only one layer. So I kind of have to try to figure out how to block in the colors and uh, minimize destroying the sketch at the same time working on the same layer it's going to be a little bit complicated but we'll see how this goes all right so now moving on to the color blocking stage as you can see i gotta be a little bit careful with how i'm laying down my color blocking because i can't just go underneath the lines in this case i gotta kind of go within the lines and make sure that i'm preserving the shapes that i've laid down with my sketch layer so that i don't forget where things are supposed to go and completely paint over the uh, sketch lines and the guidelines that i've laid down before so i'm just working on the background a little bit and ideally i'd be able to separate the background from the uh, elements in the front the foreground and the midground but now uh, we're working on one layer, so I have to kind of figure out how to do this. Normally that's not even like a thought, you know, you just put it on a layer underneath and then you paint on top of it and nothing is destroyed or affected. But now you put something there and there's no going back. You can't just turn it on and off. It's almost like traditional painting in a way uh, where everything you're painting is on a single surface as opposed to like uh, having multiple layers that you can adjust without destroying the painting. <laughs> So normally if I were to paint something like this, I would probably be putting the background, which is the bright colors on its own layer. And then I would put the foreground, which is the uh, staircase with some of the vegetation on the side on its own layer. And then our subject would be on another layer, which is the, um, the character as well as the gate. And this way it allows me to edit things and paint without having to worry about, you know, uh, not having the ability to change things as I go. But now while we're painting on only one layer um, that becomes impossible so now I have to really kind of think about where I'm putting all my brush strokes because once I get past a certain point I won't have the ability to undo the brush strokes so in a sense the uh, marks that I'm making become a little bit more destructive than if I were to put them on separate layers so from my experience doing this, I feel like it's really similar to uh, the process of traditional painting where things are all on one surface. You know, if you guys have ever had experience doing traditional uh, painting, whether it be oil painting, acrylic painting, or even a watercolor painting, um, you'll know that everything that you do kind of ha has a lot of weight to it because you can only edit so much and there's only so much you could do after you've already put down a brush stroke because especially with mediums like watercolor um, it's super unforgiving and you really don't have the luxury of putting things on different layers and then being able to remove them whenever you wanted to so that's kind of like a thing that digital art really gives us that traditional mediums don't have and by painting on one single layer it really makes you appreciate what digital art can do for you but it also 
also is a really fun way to paint. Personally, I come from a traditional background, so I was able to get used to traditional mediums painting on one single canvas, one single layer before I jumped into digital art. Again, like I haven't done any of that in at least a few years now. So uh, jumping back into this process is pretty refreshing to me. And it is a little bit challenging to try to get used to this after, you know, having the luxury of putting things on layers and being able to do so much uh, with digital art. Like digital art is super forgiving when you compare it to traditional mediums which um, I think is great but you know sometimes it, it also takes a challenge like this to be able to appreciate it fully so having everything on one layer also kind of means that I can't really erase things because when I do it just uh, erases into like the transparent layer you know uh, so I kind of have to use the eyedropper tool to pick a color and then kind of like paint back into it and kind of like erase things that way. Um, it's kind of complicated, but this is, this is what you got to deal with when you're only painting on one single layer. So while we're on the topic of layers, uh, a lot of artists on YouTube that I see uh, who are like professional artists in the industry, they showcase their painting process and they just have like hundreds of layers. And, and it's so mind boggling to me because I'm wondering how do you keep track of so much? But, you know, in their case, I think it makes sense to have that many layers because they are used to working for a client who might want to make changes to different things on the canvas. You know, maybe they would want to take certain elements out and to have a lot of layers means that the painting is not a static piece, but it is something that it, you, you can easily edit and move things around. So it makes sense for professional artists who are doing client work and need to make adjustments. But I feel like a lot of people might think that is the only way to work. But um, honestly, for me personally, uh, I work for myself. I do these paintings for myself for my own enjoyment And I know a lot of people out there who watch my channel and who follow my Instagram are also hobbyists I think I did a poll a while back and it was like 90% of you guys were just doing this um, Not as a professional career. So if you're painting for yourself, if you're painting for fun um, I don't want you guys to feel like you have to follow a certain method um, There is no right or wrong Honestly, if you're working to if you're looking to get into the industry, it is important to be able to manage a ton of different layers so it's good to practice that of course but you know if you're just painting for fun you're painting for yourself um, there is no right or wrong with this you can always go with as many layers or as few layers as you want and for me personally I like to use as few layers as possible in my paintings because I don't like getting bogged down by trying to manage a ton of different layers and trying to figure out where things are but really uh, the thing is I just I like to get into a flow, I like to work fast, I like to just follow the movement of my paintbrush and just um, kind of just go with that feeling and I don't really want to have to take my mind off of that. I don't want to have to take my mind off of it to think about how I'm structuring the layers and all that stuff. Um, so this is why I like to paint the way that I do. I like to keep things on their own layer, even if it means that I lose a bit of that um, ability to adjust things. I think it's a good trade-off there's like a decent middle ground uh, between too little and too many layers i think there comes a point where when you have like hundreds of layers when you can move literally everything and adjust everything in your painting like yes it is good for client work but it also gives you so many different choices for such minor adjustments in your painting that it could overwhelm you and it's really easy to start overthinking small elements in your painting and kind of like losing that flow and that freedom that you have with just painting uh freely on one layer and just going into it you know and not worrying about uh how you're gonna adjust small things here and there how you're gonna manage your layers so i think like there's a good trade-off between having a lot of layers and having very little layers and i think you know for me personally i like to tread the middle ground and not get too crazy with it if i'm doing client work ever and i'm painting for someone else who I will need to make adjustments for then I will uh, invest more time into managing my layers and putting more layers down but just for fun um, I like to keep it really really simple for all of my paintings 
Okay, so here is the finished product. This is our painting that we did on one single layer. It was very challenging in the sense that I couldn't separate the foreground from the background. I couldn't, you know, move things around when I wanted to. Um, I didn't have the luxury of erasing like I would normally do. Like every single brush stroke that I put down on the page was kind of like, it was there and I can't really take that back. You can't really like try an experimental layer and you know turn it on and off and see whether or not what you did was was better or worse you gotta really like live with your decisions uh in this scenario and i thought that was pretty cool it was a really good experience and normally i would use minimal layers anyways but this one was just taking that to a whole nother extreme so that was really fun to do if you want to see more digital art content just like this one feel free to subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy this video i hope you learned something new from it but other than that i'll see you guys on the next video goes to show you don't need that many layers um, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like this video i do more digital art <sighs>